Hello and welcome to this computer music hands-on video session. We've teamed up with our friends at Loop Masters to bring you this in-depth look at Bassmaster, their brand new sample-based VST and AU virtual instrument for PC and Mac. Packed with sampled waveforms, but without the heavy CPU load or large installation hit of other bloated multi-sample instruments, Bassmaster is an easy-to-use weapon for creating electronic bass sounds of all styles and genres. Before we get started, let's check out some of the 370 factory presets. The instrument's capable of powerful sub bass, punchy analog style house and techno synth bass, rattling 808 bass sounds, complex morphing timbres, esoteric percussive bass, and much, much more. Aside from presets, you can design your own dual-layered bass patches from the 217 included sample layers. There's a multi-mode resonant filter, which includes 13 filter types, analog-style drive, ADSR envelope, and LFO. Distort, thicken, and widen with the three layer effects. Set up multi-parameter mod wheel and MIDI control, and sweeten with master effects. Bassmaster comes in 64-bit VST and AU formats for PC and Mac. It usually costs £69.95 or €85, Euros, but the introductory price is £49.95 or €59. Euros. To find out more and try out a 14-day demo, head to pluginboutique.com. So, let's get started. We've already checked out some of the 370 categorized factory presets. Also up in this top bar is where you store your patches with the save or save as buttons. We're going to select the init preset to start from scratch. Bassmaster generates sound via its two sample-based oscillators. There's a top layer and a sub layer. Click the drop down to select a bass sample from the categorized menu. The 217 preset waveforms are divided into six categories. And you can scan through these adjacently with the arrows. Bassmaster's waveforms are taken from a wide range of instruments. Some clean and pure, some dirty and noisy, some mono, some stereo. When lacking inspiration, you can punch an oscillator's random button to roll the dice and quickly come up with something unexpected. Or choose a preset you like and randomize until you get something new. Over here in the mixer section is where you set the levels of the two layers. Often when designing bass for a track, you only need to use one simple fat oscillator. In this case, we'll pull down the top layer's level and focus on the sub. The sub layer can be tuned an octave up or down. And the basic volume over time can be shaped with the attack and release sliders. Hold Ctrl or Command as you drag on a parameter for finer movement. Alt clicking resets a parameter to default. To create a more interesting bass sound, you can obviously stack a second, more harmonically rich element over that raw sub bass. We'll bring up the top layer's level again. The top layer features a four-stage ADSR envelope. As 
well as a sample start slider so you can move the sample start point. Many waveforms are long notes with changes over time and modulation baked in. The combination of these waveforms provides endless sound design potential. You start with inspiring tumbral movement and magic, rather than having to program it yourself. your sub bass layer clean and powerful, sans filter and effects, you can route it directly to the instrument's output with this button. There's also a glide knob, raise this and notes bend into each other. Two voicing modes are available, portamento and legato. You can also set the pitch bend range between one semitone and an octave up and down. After the mixer section, Bass Master's two oscillators feed into the multi-mode filter. Choose a type from the drop-down list, set the filter's cutoff frequency, and boost a peak around the cutoff using the resonance knob. Use this control to boost the signal into Tasty pre-filter drive for more grunt and girth. Toggle the key track and the higher you play up the keyboard, the more the filter will open. The filter has a dedicated ADSR envelope. Apply positive or negative modulation amount with the knob. And then dial in envelope settings. You can also get the cutoff wobbling automatically with the filter's LFO. Apply amount. Set a rate, either free running or sync to host tempo. And switch between one of eight LFO shapes. You can also alter the LFO shape's phase position. If you want the LFO to restart with each new MIDI note, keep trigger set to on. If you want the LFO to keep running, set this to off. Once you've created a custom bass tone and applied filtering, it's time to reach for Bass Master's three onboard effects. Switch them on or off with their power buttons. The effects have been designed to give you tons of variety from just a small number of controls and have been tuned under the hood to prevent any bass muddiness. No modern bass sound would be complete without some sort of distortion. Crank drive to push the signal into the selected algorithm and sweep colour from dull to bright. Five different flavours are on tap. There's Desk, a beefy drive stage that emulates crunchy mixer preamp distortion. 
assertive mid-rangey overdrive stage. Fuzz is a slightly duller algorithm. Crush a bit crushing stage. And Dual, which is a brighter, filthier distortion. up it's the chorus effect. Set the amount and rate with the knobs. One of four chorus modes are on offer. Gentle, detune, Widen and Uber. And finally, there's a reverb send. Raise the sends level to mix in virtual ambience and adjust the reverb size. You can choose from three self explanatory reverb algorithms bright, mid, and dark. Don't forget you can always route the sub-layer directly to the instrument's output, meaning these effects will only process the top layer. Aside from a final level control, the master effect section is home to the final frequency booster effect. It's a three-band compressor limiter. Use the top, middle and bottom dials in conjunction with the wet-dry level slider to solidify and beef up particular frequency areas of your signal. The level is a mix control for compressing in parallel, so if you've got bands all the way down and wet-dry all the way up, you can compress the entire signal very slightly. Crank up bottom and move the level slider to add weight and power to the signal's low end. Alternatively, tweak top and middle amounts to help mid-range basses roar and cut through a mix. Frequency booster can also be used to add punchy harmonics. Use the mid control to boost a clean sine wave for a thicker, harmonically rich sound. Or you can add tops to a sound to get some extra click on the attack. in reverb, then boost tops to create sucking effects. Frequency booster can get especially assertive at extreme settings, so you want to go easy if you've got lots of filter resonance dialed in.
Bass master doesn't need a complex mod matrix, but you can assign three of the instrument's continuous parameters to be simultaneously controlled by your MIDI keyboard's mod wheel or CC1 automation in your door. Select the parameters you want to control via the three menus. And adjust positive or negative mod ranges with the knobs. Now simply raise modulation amount to alter those three parameters with just one move. Of course, this is particularly useful for controlling three completely different sound shaping parameters at once. Modulating the top layer's sample start can be used to sweep through the sample and alter timbre change, as well as create phase cancelling effects. Finally, all parameters are also MIDI assignable and can be hooked up to your MIDI controller's knobs or sliders. Right click on any control to assign it to a MIDI CC. That's about it for this video. As you've seen, Bassmaster gives you everything you need to generate bespoke bass patches in less time. And it really does sound great. It's out now in 64-bit VST and AU formats for PC and Mac. Head to pluginboutique.com to try out a 14-day demo. Thanks for watching.